So basically, what do you want to hear? Like, I'm what, just going to ask what you we're the basics. Here? You know, why are you here? What are the objectives? How long have you been here? You know, what when did we start here? November 10th. Do you want to be in the interviews? No. <laughs> <laughs> we're here on my mother's traditional territory, and we're trying to uh, stop the forest company from logging the last piece of our traditional territory. For the most part, all our other house territories are pretty much devastated with logging. The forest company wants every stick of wood and I'm unwilling to give them every stick of wood. I'd like to save this piece of wood. And uh, it's been 10 years we've been fighting them on this and they shelved it for 10 years and now they've transferred this area to the provincial government, for, has transferred it to Canfor and Canfor has come in and as the muscle, so to speak, for the provincial government. And uh, we're just trying to stop and we're trying to get an injunction to counter injunction in place. And uh, I'm not feeling overly optimistic I think uh, we won't be changing the provincial Supreme Court's mind anywhere soon. You know, just recently they came down with a decision in southern BC against another band who are seeking a similar injunction. I mean, and uh, it was unfavorable for the natives there. So I don't know that we'll have much of a much of a chance here. That uh, well, we can't give up on it, right? This is, uh, this is all we have left. It's fundamental to the way we carry our lives as Wet'suwet'en people. It's fundamental to my being able to pass down our culture to the next generation of, of Wet'suwet'en. And, uh, it's pretty tough to. Uh, Carry on as wet soldier and people in riparian areas and cut block edges. Let's uh, make the government hear us when we say, look, the land is wet and land. I mean, we're, our well-being depends on the well-being of this land. <laughs> 